This is the story of the barks and the brigs that sailed out of Kalau, uh, Kalau in Peru, mm -hmm. calling at every Pacific Island group except Hawaii, mm -hmm. kidnapping thousands of men, women, and children by violence and treachery and transporting them to slavery and death. Okay, so we so we established in pretty much every 12 tribes of Israel lesson that one of the that one of the primary criteria for a nation being considered to be descended from the 12 tribes of Israel is that they had to have endured Deuteronomy 28, correct? At some point in time uh, in their history, they had to have endured the curses that the children of Israel were promised to endure in Deuteronomy 20, 28, verse 15 through 64, correct? So, well, through 68. So essentially what we're seeing here in this particular, in, in this particular uh, study is the Polynesian slave trade, also known as bird, as black birding in the South in the, in the Trans-Pacific slave trade, but from Peru. So the question is, how can a story of South Pacific Islander slavery or captivity be told from Peru? <laughs> if their slavery was in Peru, which which means how do they get from the South Pacific Islands to Peru? Anyone? Y'all engaged in here? <laughs> how do you get from, how, how in the 1800s do you get from the South Pacific Islands to Peru? Boat, thank you. Okay. So you get you get from the South Pacific Islands to Peru by boat, which means that they had to have gone on ships to get there. So they took ships into slavery, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, right? So essentially what we're seeing here is the is the mass is is the mass enslavement of multiple not just islands but nations within the south pacific at one time which is which is pretty much unprecedented on any historical level we've never witnessed that amongst really any nation on this large of a scale